All right, so let's set up a transfer function. Obviously, I am in Smart, and uh, I'm in for Spectrum mode at the moment. I'm going to hit T or the transfer button and get to tra transfer mode. And as I mentioned in the previous video, no transfer measurements are automatically created by Smart. So we're going to need to do that. Um, so there's a bunch of different ways I could do it. I can go into my tabs and set configure it. Configurator, is that what they call it? I can hit the little, um, well, that looks interesting. It doesn't go there. There it is. Uh, the measurement config page. I can do it that way. I can also um, go up here and go uh, measurement config. Um, and it will seems to be a bit sluggish. Maybe there's a lot of things going on with the video capturing. The other thing you could just do is hit Apple T. That's on a Mac, of course, or on a PC. I'm not sure exactly what the macro is, maybe control, but hit do new transfer. Gets you right into this little tiny little window here. And I'm just going to call it Okta. You can go whatever you want. You can call it Bob if you want. Uh, it's going to be object capture and it's going to be input one is my measurement. And input two is my reference because this is for comparison. And of course, uh, I'm just going to look in here one more time to kind of see what I did. Okay. And you can see it made a default tab, default tab, default tab. I could name that something. I don't know what do you want to call it. John, John, enter. So we've all named it John now. John's got a default, um, two default spectrum measurements and one default transfer. Well, the transfer measurement I created. Of course, if I click on it, I can see all of my details if I want to change them later on. Hit OK. Cool. So uh, we've got this transfer measurement set up. Um, let's, uh, I think if Pro Tools is still looping from the previous video. Let's check it out. Um, apparently not. That's interesting. And I wonder why it stopped looping. Let's play it. And uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, output one of Pro Tools. I don't need to see this edit window, so I'm going to hide it. Output one is my measurement. Output two, my right, is my reference. And that's going into one and two. So let's press play on this uh, transfer measure and see what happens. And um, wait for something to happen. Why am I not seeing anything? Well, those of you know a little about Smart Map, caught it right away. I'm clipping on one of the two inputs. Preamps are not set correctly. Uh, Smart does not give you any data if you're clipping. So I need to turn down the preamp. I could reach down and do that with the front panel volume control, or I can use this sweet little control panel. And you can see the not, the levels are super wacky. And I did not actually do that. That's actually what it looked like when I turned it on. Uh, I'm going to try to match them. I see this one's 20 and that one's 20. So let's put them about 20. And they're about even now. And immediately you saw data on the screen. So let's go back to smart. And uh, I'm seeing some wackiness here. Look, I'm seeing some stair-stepped coherence. I'm seeing a whole bunch of phase doing crazy stuff. And I'm also noticing that the live IR is not in the center of the screen. That's no bueno. That tells me right away these three cues that I don't have my measurement compensation, my time comes my delay going. So let's let's get that going. Find the delay. Here we go. Four milliseconds is what, what I want. Insert and happiness, right? Everything's cool. And I do notice I am I'm not quite in the zero here. I'm going to do something else you don't have to do right now. I'm going to go to preferences of transfer function. I'm going to turn off proportional panes, and that will make the IR a little smaller. We can have more space dedicated to this. And uh, you can see I'm about, well, I don't know, almost about 2 dB off here between level between the two. So I don't know what exactly that's about. But I'm going to try to um, flatten that out a little bit. By I guess I could either tweak gamp. There's the issue right there. That was minus 22, and that was minus 20. There's that exact 2 dB. So I'll put 20 in there, and this bad boy should flatten. There you go. It's flattening. Cool. So it looks like we're pretty set up here. Um, looking at the instructions here to make sure I got anything wrong. I'm going to be moving between Pro Tools and um, Smart quite a bit, so it's important that I have... Uh, yeah, yeah, software update popping up in the middle of my video. Love it. Love it. Love it. Always comes up at very crucial times. Hide that. It'll go away sometime in the next two minutes. Um, really nice. There we go. It's gonna, You're going to be working a lot like this where you have Pro Tools in front and uh, Smart in the background, so be ready for that. And um, let's see anything else. Are we at the video end? I think we're about at the video end. Just make sure you have even levels here between the M and the R. That sets up the transfer curve. So it is zero, zero, and zero right in the middle means um, equal level between the two. And of course, we have equal time at the moment. So this is a great place to stop the video.